What is the best tracksuit? I know a lot of you guys are sometimes stuck on what tracksuits to buy. So in today's video, I've got a tier list with loads of different tracksuits and I'm going to be rating them all from GOAT to F tier. If you guys haven't seen one of my tier list videos before, what I do is I put the best ones to the left. So the nearest tracksuit to the letter is the best one out of all of those in say A. Make sure to watch to the end because you may miss out on what I have to say about your tracksuits. So let's start off with a Cortese tracksuit. Now, just to mention, this probably isn't your typical tracksuit, the Cortese, like I've got like CP Company in here i've got stone island but i felt like they had to be in it like the sweatshirts just because they're so good and they're so well known so yeah let's start off with cortis now in terms of tracksuits i feel like there's a lot better out there like cortis obviously do really nice stuff like their cargoes but on the tracksuit front I've, i'd never really consider buying one so i think for the minute i'm gonna leave cortis and c as a brand they're probably up in a but for the tracksuits and this tracksuit in particular, it's definitely very average. I'd put it in C. Not much creativity going on there. It's literally just a logo in the middle of a hoodie. Now let's move on to Jordan tracksuits. Sorry, the logos are so small on these pictures as well. Now there are different variations to the Jordan tracksuit. I do have one which I'll put on screen now. I've got a red and black version of these bottoms. And this is the hoodie, which are really nice. And I'm going to include, I'm going to include all the variants of tracksuits under a brand in this, guys. And I think... They're definitely more, way more aesthetically pleasing than the Cortese tracksuit. So I think I'm going to put them in B. You see a lot of people rocking them. Anyone really rocks them. It doesn't really matter what age you are. Like Jordan is such a well-known brand. So yeah, I'm going to put it in B for the minute. Obviously this could change. I'm probably going to be moving stuff around all the time. Now, oh God, here's where things get a bit messy. Sinner World. The thing is, I really like Central Sea as an artist, but I don't know if he designed it or what. It's, I don't think it's the best. I would probably, I would, this could be an F. This could easily be an F. But for the minute, I feel like there could be way worse tracksuits. I'm just going to put it behind the Cortese tracksuit. It's the drawstrings really for me and the whole design with the sort of Sinner thing. It's a bit weird. I know they released some t-shirts and short sets and a hoodie actually without the drawstrings. They got rid of the rope drawstrings because they listened to the backlash that they got from the community. Honestly, people hated it. So at least they're trying, but I would love to see with just like normal drawstrings what this would look like with the Sinner logo, maybe even on the chest, which is what they did with one of their new drops. Now let's move on to a really well-known hoodie, but I never see anyone wear it. I only ever see it on social media. I sometimes see little kids running around wearing it but we all know which one they've got on I, I don't know i really the design's insane why do my tone of voice just change like that but honestly the design on this hoodie is insane it's so sick but then for practicality do you want to be walking around with a shark on your hood no anyway i'm going to put it in b and just above this jordan hoodie but this could uh actually no i'm gonna move it back i'm gonna move it back now let's move on to a brand which you guys probably most definitely won't know grafter i really like this brand well from the outset i like the brand they don't do many drops i think even if we go on the website here if you go on the grafter website i think it, yeah join the waiting list they, they've not really done many drops that's the thing i wish they did more drops but a lot of the previous stuff from way back a couple of years ago is really hard i've got this hoodie and uh, unfortunately that the one design flaw was that the drawstrings came off but i really like the actual design of the print that it was really nice but yeah the the drawstrings like they're in the hoodie they're like they like shrunk into it in the wash one time so i it's, it's led, left a bit of a bad taste in my mouth about the brand but their designs are really cool and for that i'm going just i would genuinely say they're better than bape if the hoodie i got had a bit better quality in terms of the drawstring so i'm gonna put it just behind the bape one very good brand guys if, if they come up again and start releasing more stuff i definitely recommend that you go and try and cop maybe one without drawstring though but we'll see if they improve that now let's move on to stone island obviously everyone knows the badge but that's the thing there's nothing else on the sweatshirt it's just the badge the badge just carries the whole tracksuit like we're basically just rating this as a brand at this point like i think wearing it it's probably better than the cineworld and Cortese and probably better than all of these to be honest you know what this genuinely could be an A like it's actually I don't know why it's so cold I'm gonna leave it in A it may, it may go down uh, compared to some of that we've got some beastly tracksuits coming up actually now we've got essentials though and that is definitely not beastly this was the trend for a couple years I think or maybe a year it really didn't last that long they released the one piece really and there's another like but it looks like a Christmas jumper but yeah they released this one piece it's just got essentials and then fear of God on the back I think or on the hood and that was it and they did release some cold shorts I, let me try and get the picture of jesse lingard i don't know why that picture was sick but yeah a bit of a dead brand the, the piece is a it's a really nice tracksuit but it's just a shame they didn't really like they're a dead brand because they didn't really branch out 
their designs. I'm going to put it above Cortese and Cineworld. Now we've got the Stormzy red Adidas tracksuit. Now I have my opinions on wearing Adidas clothing. I wear their football shirts because I support Man United. Uh, also, they've released some fire kits this year, like the AS Roma shirt and the, and the Real Madrid shirt are so clean. But the tracksuit, I don't like it. I don't know if it's because I don't like Stormzy or I don't know what it is. I don't like this tracksuit. I feel like maybe it was for people born a couple, like five years ago or something, they like it. Because I see a lot of like 25 to 30 year olds wear it but no one no one in my generation or below wears this it, I, like it's it's not the best now i'll move on to another tracksuit which i own and that's the ralph Lauren tracksuit very cold tracksuit i've been i wanted to get it for ages where i'm living at the minute guys there's an outlet near me with a ralph Lauren outlet and they had discounts on for the tracksuits so i managed to pick one up for i think it was 160 pounds in total when it would have been like 280 or something something mental like that and it's it's so good looking and the hood is sick the drawstrings are amazing but because I've owned it, I've noticed the flaws. So when you put it in the wash, it bobbles so easily, like so easily. I I, I think I don't know what it is, but in like the pockets, they bo the, there's amount of bobbling in there. It's mental. I am genuinely gonna put this tracksuit in goat. It, it will be that there are better tracksuits in goat, just because of this one design flaw that I've noticed with the Ralph Lauren tracksuit. Now we're moving on to represent, and this can just. Do I even need to speak? The brand sort of targets like. 25 year olds 25 year old built guys and that just ain't me <laughs> i'm not even 20 and i look like a skinny rat so yeah for that i'm gonna put it at the bottom just because i would never consider wearing it and i don't i don't know the logo is very similar to essentials i really don't like brands that come out later and it just looks like they've copied someone else now it's gone to billionaire boys club obviously a really nice brand i've never actually got anything from there my brother actually has a t-shirt from there but the, 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 on the tracksuit front like this tracksuit in particular oh, i don't think it's that great in, in terms of tracksuits to wear it's not they have some other tracksuits which are quite nice so i'm just going to put it in between the adidas one and the represent one now we've got a palm angels tracksuit i don't know what i want to do about this one obviously it's a really high-end piece like you have to be minted to buy it. I, I, I kind of like it. I like the look of it on other people, but if I wore it, then I think I'd look like a bit of an idiot. But I still really rate it. I really like the look of it on some people. I reckon it's probably, probably... In fact, let me just jig this around a bit. I reckon... Let's sort the B tier out. So I reckon Grafter comes... Mm, second, Palm Angels comes first. B Bape, Bape third, actually. They have got some other cool tracksuits. And then Jordan last. Okay, so now let's talk about Lorenzo Verratti. I don't know anything about Lorenzo Verratti. I just know they have some really cool pieces. And I always get their jackets advertised on my Instagram, which I actually want to cop. But the thing with jackets from like these smaller brands, I bought a Mania de Voir jacket and over it it's not really meant for the rain. And like when you're buying a jacket, okay, yeah, may maybe it's not made for the rain, but surely it can last. I don't know what I'm talking about, but basically, it's just destroyed like thought i can feel water going through it if it's like absolutely if it's absolutely tipping it down i can literally feel water in my armpits like that's just weird anyway i'm getting sidetracked lorenzo verratti is tracksuits are pretty cold i think i'm actually going to put these above the essentials tracksuit and then move cortese up yeah i think these two columns are looking good now that's not better than cortese hang on let me let me just change this a bit i think actually essentials is they've got better designs than lorenzo well better design than lorenzo lorenzo verratti and i might move to in a world above actually but if you're looking for cheaper tracksuits guys lorenzo verratti is actually quite a certified brand now let's move on to one of your guys' favorites trap star unlike the adidas tracksuit everyone in my generation and below has this tracksuit now for me Nah, I don't want this tracksuit. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to look like a melon. I'm no trapper and I'm no star, so I'm not wearing this. Maybe in the future I could become a star if you subscribe. Subscribe now so I can become a YouTube star and buy a trap star t-shirt or tracksuit. And then maybe I can review it in a further video. So I'm basic I'm gonna be basing this off the design because personally. I wouldn't wear it. They have some insane designs. Like, trap style tracksuits are actually so clear. I'm not basing this off the jackets, but they also do really nice jackets. And obviously, they're one of the goats in terms of their coats. So, it's going top of A very easily. Very easily over Stone Island. Now, let's go on to another smaller brand, which is Benjar. A brand you see way more than Lorenzo Verratti. I see this way more often in the street, Benjar. I have actually bought something from Benjar before. It was some tracksuit bottoms. But, because my waist is kind of weird. Like, they, the bottoms didn't really fit me. They were, like, the right length, but the waist... <laughs> it was just a bit weird, which was a shame. Like, I really wanted to buy from the brand, so I, I just returned the item. But yeah, in terms of tracksuits, they're pretty good. I'd probably put them just one above Lorenzo Verratti. I don't think Lorenzo Verratti need to have make more, make more designs. Ben Jar don't have many designs on their website now, but I know over the years they've been putting out loads of sort of different designs. Okay, so now let's talk 
about another brand which is sort of like Stone Island really, CP Company. Once again, the lens badge kind of carries carries the tracksuit really. Really nice brand, I really, really like CP Company. Like every time I go in House of Fraser, I always want to get one, but then I see the price tag. Really, really nice tracksuit. Well, really nice sweatshirt. And I would 100%, 1 million percent get it over a Stone Island jumper. I think I might ask for one for Christmas or something because they're really expensive and I can't afford it. Now, the one that all of you, but, but most of you have been waiting for, the Nike Tech Fleece. Well, I don't think they're better than Trapstar or CP Company, really, actually. Like, really and truly. Of course they are! Bosh! Top of goated, best tracksuit ever made. Guys, this is, I've had, I've got so many of them. Unlike the Ralph Lauren, I, I genuinely think if the Ralph Lauren didn't have the bobbling that I would buy more, but... The Nike Tech Fleece, I've washed it about a hundred times, one of mine. No bobbling, no flaws, no nothing. It stays the same size. The designs are so good. I mean, maybe not this season, but the Nike Tech Fleece, it, it's the best. No one can argue, even like all the sales of tracksuits, you can, it's the best. You see it most often in the street as well. Now let's talk about Broken Planet. I briefly mentioned actually in a YouTube short that they are the next essentials, and that is looking to become true. They haven't released anything in ages, and... I don't, I don't see anyone wearing it anymore. It was like that one period in spring where everyone bought Broken Planet. I don't really rate their designs. I think it's a bit weird. I think it, I'm more of a plain tracksuit kind of guy. I mean, obviously the, the bait one isn't, but this has like got weird designs. It's got like love hearts on it and skulls. Skulls. That just reminds me of, that just gives me emo vibes. That's not it for me. I, I, I'm not into it. I know a lot of people do. I mean, a lot of people are into that sort of stuff. So for that, um, I think some of their designs are kind of cool. I'm going to say it's better than represent just because represent literally have that one they have their logo on a blank like color but yeah guys i'm pretty happy with that tillis i don't think anything else needs to be changed i don't know whether i put grafter a bit too high i don't know this all looks pretty good and it is pretty good watch these two videos on screen right now